Hello and welcome gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and this is the DIY Affiliates and Collective Soul Journey. In this video I'm going to demonstrate to you about grounding and yes it is winter time here in Canada and there is snow on the ground. It'll be a fun video to watch. So let's jump into the video. So this is grounding. Are you ready? Have something warm. Have something warm to step on because your feet are going to get cold, especially in the snow. Right? So what you do? Oh, look at that sun. It's not cool. Take off your boots and you have, see, you have bare feet, put it on the ground, put your foot on, on the ground, put your other foot on the ground. Whoa! See, that is a little cold. Put your feet on the ground and you can feel the vibration of the ground on your feet. And this is you grounding yourself just like a tree grounds down and then grows up. You are grounding your vibrations and your spirit. So you want to have an affirmation that's per prepared. And you want to try to get into the highest level of emotions that will create the highest frequency and the highest vibration. So think of something that you're thankful for. Be thankful for something that you have received and also be thankful for something you have not received. Because that is the key to the law of gratitude. And the, tapping into the law of gratitude will help you to stay in a high vibration, in a high frequency. I am so thankful and grateful for everybody who is here today, who is listening to this video. And I hope that something that I say will be an inspiration to somebody else to go out and to do their own grounding. Now, there are different ways that people will do their grounding, but I find that this way you have a connection, your feet are on the ground, you have a connection to the earth. And you can feel the vibrations under your feet. You can feel the energy as it flows through you. You can listen to um, sh uh, sh uh, heart opening activation, shocking music such as 639. Or you could just be still and say a silent prayer to yourself. Creating the vibrations and frequencies and manifesting them into your outer world as you create them in your inner world. And then use the algorithm for manifesting that I created for manifesting a desired outcome, which is tapping into creating this ball of energy. And I know you can't really see me, so I'm going to pull the phone up. Okay. So what I'm saying is that you are creating this ball of energy in which you are going to be sending the uh, the energetic frequency out to the universe in this ball of energy that you are creating and this is what I call the algorithm of manifesting in this ball of energy that you are creating you are using and tapping into the five laws of universal energy which is the law of divine oneness you and I are connected we are all connected we are not separate from anything or anybody anything that we are desiring anything that we are manifesting in our inner world will manifest into our outer world. The law of vibration. Everything and everybody vibrates. You have a vibration, I have a vibration. And as you are grounding yourself, you are getting the vibration of the earth that is, that is traveling through you, going through your chakras and coming out at the top of your chakra up here. And you can do breathing exercises as well, but this is the vibration that you are now tapping into. 
the third law is the law of attraction. Everybody knows about the law of attraction and, and there are many places that you can find out about the law of attraction. But basically the law of attraction is, it's, it's like a magnet. And as you are manifesting in your inner world, you are also manifesting into your outer world by using your thoughts and your emotions. Thoughts carry frequency and vibration. And the law of attraction is if you do good things in your life and you ask for good things in your life, then you are asking for good things to come back into your life. If you are doing bad things or negative things in your life, you are asking for negative to come back into your life. So now that's the three laws of the universe. The fourth is the law of gratitude. And this is the one that's very, very important. And the key to the law of gratitude is to be grateful for something that you have not received yet. How would you feel? What are your feelings? What are your emotions? Are you, are you happy? Are you excited? Are you grateful? Are you feeling the higher level of emotions? that we call love and above. Do you feel unconditional love? Can you feel unconditional love? Can you give people unconditional love? What are you grateful for? And this is the key to tapping into the law of gratitude. What are you grateful for? You are grateful, of course, for your life, for, your, for the love, for everything in your life. But in, with the law of gratitude, you also need to put out this energetic energy that's going into the energy ball in which you are also grateful for things that you have not received yet. But you are manifesting through your inner world going out into your outer world and you are grateful for it happening. So you are tapping into the law of gratitude. And then the, the, the next law is the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect is very, very important law because everything has an original starting point. And whether it be negative or positive, it's like a domino effect. You create positive, you create positive ripples that are going out into the collective, into the universe. You create negative, you are creating negative ripples that are going out until somebody creates something positive, which will then create positive ripples going out. And it goes on and on and on. And the law of cause and effect has a lot to do with karma. We are creating karma every single day of our life. And whether it is good karma or it is bad karma, we are still creating this karma. And we are still under the law of cause and effect. Then you have believing. How much? How do you feel? Do you believe that your manifested desired outcome is going to manifest into your reality? Can you feel it deep down inside? Because you could say you believe something, but you don't feel it. The dominant vibration is going to be what you feel, not what you are saying. Yes, words are powerful, but your emotions are what create the frequency that creates the energies that are around us. So you need to believe. So as a recap, the algorithm for manifesting, tapping into five dominant laws that govern universal energy, believing. The next is visualizing. And it's getting cold. It's getting cold because it's winter time out. And when you are, if you're grounding in the winter time, you can do it in the summertime. Visualizing. Can you see, can you visualize, can you create an image in your mind of your desired outcome? Where are you? What are you doing? What do you see? What do you smell? Who, are, who is around you? This is creating this image. And it's sort of like a snapshot that you are creating in which you can pull up at any time. And when you are creating the snapshot and you are putting it into an image, you are also creating a memory. A memory of something that has not happened yet, but yet it's happening because we are living in the now. We are not living in the past. We are not living in the future. We are living in the now. The next element is your feelings. And I know I talked about feelings earlier, but feelings are really important because it's how you feel. The emotions that you are creating that are creating this vibration and energy around you that you are putting out to the universe. And it is your dominant feelings 
of what you are putting out. How do you feel? What do you feel when you picture your desired outcome? What are your feelings? Are you happy? Are you joyful? Are you peaceful? Are you grateful? Very important. The being grateful and tapping into, again, the law of gratitude. Very important for your feelings. The next element is action. Do an action. And what I suggest you do is to write down your desired outcome on a, on a card, a two, by, a two by five card, or just a piece of paper, and put it somewhere where you are going to be watching and seeing it all the time, where it is going to be in your conscious mind. It is already in your subconscious mind, but as you glance over, you're doing something and you glance over and you see it, it will then spark an association and a link to your desired outcome and help you to be able to manifest your desired outcome into your outer reality. So <laughs> this is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, my version of being grounded and using the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome. <laughs>